So what is u going to be in question 10? Or what would be a good guess? Well, it looks like the inner part of this. Does anybody need to see this one? Okay. What do you think u is going to be? Okay, that's what I would guess, too. Yeah, you don't really know for sure until you try it and see that it works. Okay, so du then would be like derivative, derivative, which we have the dx. I'll try to substitute this stuff in. So all of this can go in here. In place of x squared dx. That's almost du. But here's what you may want to do when you have to make this adjustment if you're struggling with this, is actually solve this for what you want. So if you want an x squared dx, make sure this is an x squared dx. So I can change this to an x squared dx by dividing both sides by negative one third, or dividing both sides by negative three, which is like multiplying by negative one third. So you see how I went from this to this? Now, x squared dx is this stuff. So I can substitute it with that stuff. A du, but also a negative one third. This had three more, a negative three times too much. So it looks like I'm multiplying by negative one third. To that. Okay, so then, uh, I mean, that should be the hard part. That's really where you guys should be slowing down maybe asking some questions, whatever. But once you get to here, and you're undoing power rule, I guess technically plus C is inside the parentheses, but it doesn't matter, because I'm not going to be able to solve for C anyway. Um, multiply these, negative 1 18th, U to the 6th. And that was our cool that is your final answer. Nobody wants it in terms of u. We just use u as a process to make this something that's very hard to impossible to do in our head. So you're having a few steps that push us in the right direction every time. So negative 1, 18th, u, which is this, to the 6th, let's see. Now my check. I tried to take the derivative of this. I would start off with the power rule. I would bring the power down. Negative one eighth times six would be negative one third. I would lower the power by one. Lower the power by one. I have to worry about the chain rule. The derivative of the inside would be times negative three x squared. And then the derivative of the constant would be zero. So that just goes away. Well now, Negative times a negative, that's going to be positive. Three times a third, that's going to be one. And I'm left with a six minus x to the third to the fifth times an x squared, which is that. So checking it by taking three. <laughs> okay, so those of you that got hung up on question 10, if you did not see what you didn't think of or what mistake you made, please go ahead and ask. Whatever mistakes you're making are just going to carry over question to question, so you need to get your questions answered. You have to develop a good, good practice here so that it will move you through it. Okay, let's go with this one.